Cassidy and I met at the Reverb in Benson while he was playing a show with his band at the time, The Devil in the Details. I was there supporting some of my buddies in the band and hanging out with some friends and he kind of, he just introduced himself and the first thing that I thought of was, oh, he's tall. I didn't know he was that tall and I just remember seeing him in sweatpants and glasses and thinking like, oh, he's a nerd too, I like that. <laughs> I was really impressed with her, her voice, and so that's kind of why, I mean, that's where we met, and then I reached out to her uh, just regarding music, and I was like, hey, you know, what, what are you doing with this amazing voice, because you need to be doing something. And then just out of the blue, she was, she was going to UNO, and out of the blue, she uh, messaged me and was like, hey, I'm, I've got a class, we're going to see this movie over at Exarbon in like an hour do you want to come? And so I was like, yes. And um, I mean, the entire movie, he just was staring at me. And it was kind of awkward because I would like look over at him and he'd like look away. And then after the movie, um, we went to Elmwood Park and um, it, was, it was in January and it was just ice everywhere. And like he held my hand so I wouldn't slip, and it was just really nice. We went for a walk. After the first date, I felt weird. I don't know, like excited, but also like nervous. And just, you know that feeling like when you meet someone and you don't know how they feel or how you feel yet and it's exciting to, you know, I never wanted to stop talking to Cassidy after that first date, you know, and we just kind of were inseparable after that, I guess. I would say we have a, you know, we very much have a partnership. Uh, you know, we're, we're a team. Sometimes I struggle and I know she's there to, to catch me if I'm slipping. We've kind of always looked at it and come together from a bit of a non-traditional, as far as, you know, American culture goes, uh, partnership. Like, there's no role that she's supposed to be filling in my head other than us just being in love and being there for one another. an interesting balance to our relationship. We both have our main features that come out are our sense of humor. And so the, the biggest aspect of our relationship really is just having fun and being playful and laughing. Um, I think that's what made me so sure about Cassidy was he can make me laugh at any point in the day. And he appreciated my weirdness. So we have a very like lighthearted relationship and um, there's you know there's times where we can be serious and I enjoy those but I would say Cassidy is like the bestest friend I've ever had and um, you know I can tell him anything. The proposal uh, took place right down here uh, in our basement. When she when she went to ask me, you know, I, I had no idea, and like I had been planning on proposing for some time. You know, I didn't want to let her know. She had images of how it should be or how she wanted it to be. Or it just needed to be some some big gesture, right? And I had a, a lot of different plans of it, but she she got tired of waiting. So I didn't have a ring, I didn't have a speech, I didn't have anything prepared, but I just kind of knew in that moment I was going to go home at 11.30 at night and propose to my boyfriend. <laughs> and um, I just went downstairs and kind of started telling him how much I loved him and how much it meant to me that um, 
we could grow together and I proposed to him and he said yes. <laughs>